Abibi Aboubou Ababwa. Prince Ali Abibi Boo Abi Ababwa. There you go. Got rid of the blight. We need a mod that makes destroying the blight a little bit more like automatic. It feels like it's uh I understand that the game's trying to make, you know, man force manual overrides on random events. The game wants you to have like they don't want everything to be automatic. They want you to have to overwrite override uh certain events. And I get that. It makes I I I, I understand why they would do that. But it there it's just sometimes it's just a pain. Sometimes they just feel like it's the world is pain. Sometimes it feels like life is sufferance. Life is life is a little bit of damage to the soul. Only pain is real. Don't you guys feel that way sometimes? <laughs> hey Raven, good good to see you, my friend. Happy Christmas. How you been? How was your Christmas? How was your holiday? If if ever completed or not completed, how was the you know the around Christmas time for you, my friend? Hope you had some good some good uh, good good activity and and some joy in your heart. We uh once again we apologize. We had a few days that we were supposed to be streaming that we couldn't. We had a power outage in our town, and even about half the town still doesn't have electricity. Sometimes neighbors are coming over to do like laundry and hot shower, and, and I make them a warm meal. So I'm we were fortunate. It, it, we were out of power for about four days. Some people it's been six days. Uh, so we got power back about two days ago and today is day number six for, of the power outage and some people still don't have power in their home uh, so uh, yeah I mean at least at least we have some and so we're uh, we're able to stream we're able to work for you guys uh, have a good time and uh, but yeah the it, it was completely out of our control the fact that we couldn't stream uh, last weekend which uh, I was I was you know shivering in a blanket in the living room trying to you know trying to keep warm cuddling my 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 cats making sure that they stay warm as well uh and you know doing my best to uh just to, to survive and wait and for the hard-working people that uh, put the power back in i wish i could have helped them i would have loved it but i, I got i mean that's not my skill set right i don't have their training and but i mean i praise to everybody who's hardworking, helping anybody uh thanks to the heroes that are out there in you know terrible weather trying to fix uh, power issues to bring it back to the civilized world so that we don't feel that like, you know, monkeys stuck in a storm and we feel like human beings able to take showers, able to eat hot meals, able to go in a, you know, to live live a, a normal life in, in the way that we're used to now. Tough morning for me. Woke up at like 10 minutes ago at like, oh, oh my God, Raven. What did you do? Did you go to a rave? Christmas was great today. Not so, sorry about that. I was expecting people to live in an apocalypse style without power. It felt, it, fe it definitely felt like Zomboid. There was a lot of time, Raven, where I, I was comparing my life to Zomboid. I like, I was eating, my, my wife, he actually ate uh, a can of cold, she ate like, you know, Chef Boyardi? It's like raviolis and, and, and tomato sauce in, in a can. And at some point she just went and she ate it cold. She just ate it from the can, just like in, like it was, it was, it was a Zomboid moment. There was definitely some Zomboid moments during that time. It was, it was beautiful. Scavenging for food, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Ex exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was a storm. There was a big storm. Uh, I live in a, in a suburb. So I, I live in a, a like about half an hour from a main city. Uh, and there's it's a very like, like fresh, like mountain, like sl small mountains, a lot of trees, a lot of rivers. It's like a natural place. So a lot of trees and then the storm blew. Uh, and some trees fell on the power lines and it took a lot of time to it's it's they're still repairing it But the thing is it's sick. It's not just our town That was a it was a big storm that attacked a lot of a lot of other towns, too So the power team it has to divide into many many different locations to try to restore power That's why it's not just our town There was a lot a lot of towns a lot a lot of places got hit hard by that storm it was a big large storm and so uh, that's that's what's causing the the long delay to get the power back. If it was only our town, it'd be back the same day or the next day or the following day, right? But right now, because there's so many different places at the same time, uh, that's that they have to you know they have to do what, the best they can, and there's a lot of things on their plate. But once again, I tip my hat to the hardworking people that are doing their best to bring power and civilization back to people that lost power and and yeah. Good or Angie. Yeah, power colored by water. Then no, I, water as well. I, where I live, our aqueduct system is is we have arte our artesian wells. So you need power to make water to, to to pump water up as well. 
So we had no water, no no water, no electricity, nothing, because uh, I I'm not in the main I'm not in the main city, so our uh, the our water system needs power as well. So no water, we had no water. Thirty days water start, yeah yeah. I I, I agree, Raven. It, it definitely helps to see, to put things in perspective. It def you definitely see things a little bit differently when that happens. Like it it helps to to see. You get to see things a little bit differently. Bass is inspired by surgery, but we have no one to work on. Rare thrombos don't really care for them. Yeah, we were playing hardcore. Yeah, we did. We lost, and and I, I was not ready. And and funny enough, generators is is a great solution in these times. So, but because I live in a rental, and and installing a generator is takes a little bit more than a magazine <laughs> to make it work. You need to pay like an electrician, and it takes. It's a decent sized job. Costs about a thousand bucks just to get it to work. Just install it to your house. So you gotta buy it for like X amount of money. You gotta buy the physical generator. And then you also gotta pay an electrician about a thousand bucks to fix it to your home. And because I'm renting, uh, it doesn't make sense for me to pay that thousand. And if I'm gonna, you know, lose it when I move out. So, uh, and, and have to pay it again in the next place. So uh, I wish, I, I wish it, if it was plug in, plug and play I'd, I'd buy it right now i'd have a generator right now but because of that thousand dollar plug in plug out i'll i'll just wait till i have a more stable location stable home that then it's then you know you do it once and it's in it and you always have it we got the mad squirrels one mad squirrel okay is he coming in should we just open this button hey mitch how about you just press this button Hey, Matt Squirrel, he's gonna yeah, he's gonna die to the traps, eh? Oh, what a keka boy! Good job, Matt Squirrel. You did what you had to do. You just you just died to the trap. That's great. That's really really nice. Good for you, Matt Squirrel. Good for you. Good for you. You know, there's no books exactly. I wish I wish there was. If I I definitely looked into it. There's also external batteries you can buy. You guys ever heard of those? Uh, but they're very limited. They would last about a day. So you could buy like a big, like it, it's big. It's like a server. It's like a PC server and you buy it. And it's like a big, it's like a, like a, like a desktop computer, maybe a little bit larger, depending on, on, on the, the, the one you buy, the one you choose to purchase. And you just, you, you just, you charge it up and it's, it saves a big quantity of power. And then whenever you need it, you just plug stuff in it and then you, you drain it. But within about a day, it would be out like. If you have a power surge and you want to you want to run your home rig like it's not the same a generator you can just you just go to the gas station you buy a little bit of gas you put it in and, and you can do it infinitely right the 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 external batteries they're they, they do they do a great job but they don't last very long they last for about 24 hours for the same price for that you you get a generator so you buy something for the same price as a generator one lasts 24 hours the other one lasts basically infinite so you're like yeah and since we just we since we just experienced a four day event, you know the external batteries would have been great for one day, and then we would have been you know day two, three, and four we have nothing. Generator makes it makes it good for all all the days. If it lasts a week, if it lasts two weeks, doesn't matter. Generator, right? If it lasts more than one day, the batteries they then they they don't do anything. So because of that, for that reason, I think the batteries are not as good obviously and uh so i'm just waiting for I, I don't think they're worth buying for me so i'm just gonna wait i'm just gonna wait for the, i wish i could make a move right now i really wanted to make a move but the thousand dollar installation fee is is what what holds me back you probably just need a few components and a fabrication table to make your generators <laughs> i wish i could if if it was yeah if it was if it was pretty easy and simple i'd, I'd definitely do it i'd 100 do it no no questions asked Think too much. I'm sure real life happens. I'd be behind TV earning every morning 6 a.m. for TV shows to get smart. Hey, it, it might it might work. Who knows? Why wouldn't it work? Why wouldn't that work? There's no reason that wouldn't work. Can we get some medicine here, guys? I we're just looking for. We just need that medicine thing. We need we need to fix. We have two two of our doctors got caca brain. It's probably not good. Out of four doctors, two have caca brains. We need to find a way to heal their brains. We need to get a quest that gives us two. Usually, usually when you get that quest, you get more than one. Yeah, he's working slow, man. 
Ah, uh, if he didn't have a Kaka Brain, it'd, it'd be much faster. Okay. Hey, Dub, how you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Long time no see. Uh, yes. Apologies, Dub. Once again, you, I mean, you were on Discord. I, I, I'm, I'm sure you're aware of this, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through long and long line. But yeah, thanks for being here, buddy. I apologize for the missed days, as you know. You know, power outage. I did, and and we're lucky. Half the town right now still doesn't have the power back, uh, so we're we're part of the fortunate people that do have it back, and we're you know technically back to regular schedule. Uh, you know, unless something happens, but uh, it doesn't doesn't seem that way. It was it was a very specific situation. Uh, I've, I've talked to people that live in this town for about eight years and, uh, they said it's, it was the worst. Usually it comes back on the same day or it's a few hours, maybe the next morning maximum. Uh, for this, this event that takes this long is by, is, is a rare occurrence, very rare occurrence. So we don't, we don't expect it to be, uh, to be coming back anytime soon, but good to see. How was your, uh, how was your Christmas, my friend? How was everything going for you, buddy? Hope you had a good time. Hope you had a good Christmas love in your belly. Hope you felt good in your heart, in your soul, in your soul, like in like your shoes, you know. <laughs> yeah, that is so silly. Some yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Bestie, you died in no Abby. What? Oh, Abby, you got you were poisoned by Wooney, Dub. Yeah, if you ever watched the Ozarks, you know how Darlene took like some cherry cherry pie cherry uh, uh cores. And and like crushed him to get the arsenic, and she put that in her in her husband's coffee. I think that's what happened. We don't have any proofs, but I think you got murdered by Wooney Dub. Oh, look at Pooncake with his Santa boy. It, that's a good. That's a good skin though. Looking good, Pooncake. Looking good, my friend. Oh, nothing bad else happened. <laughs> you and your family. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, no, nothing else happened. Thank you. Thank you for your, for your kind words, Dub. No, nothing else. We did. We were lucky. Nothing else bad. No, that's the worst thing that happened. So that's the worst. It's not that bad, right? Not that bad. Everybody is healthy. Nothing. Nothing bad else. We we were able to get. You know, my um, my in laws and my parents both had um, uh, power. So when we were visiting them for Christmas uh, events, it was fine. We took some showers there. So we we survived. And never, no, nothing. Nobody that I know got got worse than just missing powers for a few hours to a few days. So yeah. So we're good. So absolutely, thanks for thanks for the kind words, and hope you had a good time too. We got a monk scroll, a berserker scrolls, and some extra gold. And Izzel, Abby, and Puritek get some. Congrats, guys! Congratulations, boss time, baby. Let's go, bossa nova. Oh, look at this, bossa nova time, eh? Hmm, what should we use here? I like monk, but he's he's so low. He's such a low boy. Why is Monk so low? Monk should be like the strongest boy. But Monk is not the strongest boy. How come? Oh, that's okay, Dub. Yeah, no worries. Don't do coffee. Uh, I. You're right. A lot of caffeine is a drug, but it's sort of a, it's sort of like in a in a separate category, wouldn't you say? Yeah, Nix, we're going against the boss. Yeah. Come join. We're making some uh, armors here. We're making some unfinished components. Zero out of six. And it's rough. Fabrication bench. I wonder if I should get more. Not quite sure. I want to get people here work 24-7. I don't know how to do that. You guys... Oh, look at... It's all smooth. You guys did a good job. Too deep infestation. Where, though? Hey, get out, guys. Oof. Get out, get out. Hey, get out. Get out. Get out ASAP. Okay, you gotta press that button here. And you gotta press that button here. Master Blue, stop being a caca boy. Everybody, it's fighting time. I'm not even sure I need to fight though. Look at that's it. Uh all this for like five little boys? Are they killing the raccoon? Oh, it's so bad. Okay. Go flick that. They're just gonna get exploded. 
You guys want to see that? You guys want to see a big explosion? Come, come, come. Oh my god. Oh boy, boy. Oh boy, boy. You guys can all go back to your regular works in a second. Oh. <laughs> that cat. Oh, why? Oh, look at these guys. Oh. Thanks for coming. Have a nice day. <laughs> That's it. Okay. My God. I was scared there for a, for a, a fraction of a fraction of a fraction. You get back to work, everybody. It was only two, three bugs. Being the dry season since, yeah. It is, Dub, yeah. And, and, uh, I wish it wasn't the case. I wish that was not the case. Oh my God, it's not over. If it wasn't the case, I'd be happy. But you, 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 you know, we got the stream review and, and Fall Guys was one of our, one of our, if not the most played game, uh, in, um, in 2022. But I mean, it's, Right now, it's definitely not in a good spot. Sadly, not not in a great spot. Okay, that's it. I think that's it now. Let's just leave him open in case. Let him run for a little while. Yeah, it was our most played game in 2022. I w and I, I had a great time. I love, I love the idea that you can just you know hop in, get squads, play with friends. If they go, you just play solo. Like, there was so much good thing, so many good things about it, but they're just driving their, you know, they're just driving their si their ship in the water. They're, they're just getting the ship, you know, you know, when 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 the when the the ship goes straight for the iceberg, at some point you gotta you gotta put yourself on a on a little you know little couch, ask someone to draw you like a French girl, and then you know hop on a door and tell him there's no room for him. At some point you gotta do that, and that's. It feels like that we have no choice. I'm not. I don't feel like I, I. I chose to do this. I feel like I was forced to. Yeah, you definitely saw for sure, right? A caravan from Tehani is approaching. Master Blue Sisters in it. Okay. Exotic goods. What are you guys selling? I don't know if we're buying though. You guys want to trade, but you go, you go, you know, you're not even coming to my base. And I, I saw that you got a uh, Zomboids 2 dub. That's going to be Poggers, man. Looking forward to, to seeing you play. Don't forget to play the, the tutorial. Play the tutorial because it's going to answer a lot of questions, a lot of base questions if you haven't yet. And, uh, you know, test the game out. Because it's, it's, a, it's a complex game. Complex game. There's lots of, sounds good, Raven. See you in a bit. You played it perfect, Dub. And try to get, you know, one or two games on your own. Because uh, there's a lot to learn. And if you jump in and you... And and the more you know, the better... The smoother it'll be when you when we play together. You know what I mean? So, if you... you'll, It's a game that every time you play, you learn some things. Every time you play, you bring knowledge with you from your past. Ex Even if you die. Dying is part of the game. Obviously, st staying alive a, a long time is, is valuable. But you're going to die. Expect to die, but you're gonna keep with you the knowledge that you learn along the way, and that and that's that's the most valuable thing. He's got a camel. He's got. Oh, do I want to bring that? No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. What is he selling? One advanced component, sure. Regular components, thirty-five bucks. That's pretty cheap. Is that the thing I want? No. Is it? No, it's not. I thought it was. Oh, I got so excited there. I thought it was the thing I wanted, but it's not. Uh, skill trainer melee. Don't really care. Liver, prosthetic heart, bio heart. Arcotech eye. Nobody needs that. 3% rocket. <laughs> if you if you don't use it properly, we're going to use it for uh, at the end. That's it. Oh, we could get a mega screen. Let's get, let's get that mega screen TV. Wow, it's expensive. 1600 Okay, what are we selling to this guy? Maybe some... We got plenty of plasteel. Let's sell some plasteel. 
Only 400, sure. Okay, let's go. Uh, where do we want this TV? Probably something like this. And then this TV will go... Like this. Uh, uh, where though? Where do we want it? This this is too small. This is too small. Not sure I know where I want to put this TV. Let's do it here. Let's do this. Double TV. Quest active. Perfect. Uh bio arm? Six kill 16 people for a bio arm. If it's really close, it's not far. Okay, let's do it. Let's grab it. Let's do that quest. 13 days. We can try that. We can try to do that quest. Now I know what to do. Now I can survive for more than three hours. That's pretty good, dub. I mean, next and then and then four four hours, five hours, you know. Then it keeps going on. Few days, few weeks. But you're on the right path. I'm happy. I'm happy you chose that path. Let's kill some turkeys. Grizzly bear. We might want to we might want to kill that guy before he attacks us. We could just leave him. Oh. Oof. He ate the rat. Oh, that grizzly bear ate the rat. He put it in the mouth. But you with your sword? Nah, don't go fight a Isol. Can you go help him? Yeah, sure. Go help put Stig. Kill the grizzly bear, maybe? Uh, what's the range for the gun? Pretty good. Gotta be strong, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is the Grizzly good? Is he low? Yeah, he's pretty good. Again? Do it again. Hit him. Wow, that's a strong gun, man. One-shotting a Grizzly Bear? You can kill a grizzly bear without, you know, by yourself. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. Okay, let's go over here. Okay. Grizzly bear revenge. Yeah, right. Nice revenge. It takes forever to bring this. Oh, we got some puppies! Let's go! That's not Hall, is it? No, this is Hall. One lab puppy? Is it a male? It is! Oh, so... When he grows, he's gonna be able to make babies with her. With his mom. That's good. Then double puppies. We need to train them. So they keep making more babies. We need to, we need to build a hauling army. To get off this... To get off this land. Okay. Bow, bow. Fire? The squirrel was on fire. The squirrel exploded. <laughs> I mean, nothing's gonna happen. That fire is not gonna do anything. Okay, that's good. Did the PPS finally grew up? What's the PPS mix? Not sure what that means. Not sure what PPS is. The pups. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, he did. And then he died. No, that's all good mix. So, so he did. He did eventually grew up and he made one. He made he made the other uh, pup, the other husky prego, the mother. And then he died. But now we're going to have we have two pups that that are growing up so you know i guess it's it's progress in a way <laughs> not the 
not the smoothest progress, but still progress. Males are going to be pissed. Okay. Mad squirrel again? Woonie, a mad squirrel spawned beside you. You ready to fight it? Hit, hit. Melee attack it. Abby, you want to help Woonie? Please don't shoot Woonie. Don't shoot her. Okay, I think he shot Woonie. That's life. Life happens. Uh, no, you guys both run away without nothing in your hands. I hate that. I want a mod that people br haul whatever's close to them when they're moving. Move with something in your hands. Never, you know, if you're going to be on the go, make a few extra steps, grab something, and then bring it home. Another grizzly bear? We just killed one. They spawn a second one? Hmm. Hmm. It is his work? Exactly. The work that needed to be done was done. The work that needed to be completed was completed. He got it. He got the job. Let's, let's be. He got the job done. He got the job done. So there it is. There it is. And now he, he, if he didn't get that job done, we would be in a much worse spot right now. So it's a bit sad that he died, but you know what? He got the job done. So we're, we're happy. We're happy there. Hey, Bob, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you, man. How was your holidays? How was the, uh, how was the, uh, the family time, the Christmas joy, all those things? And, and if you if you had, I'm not sure you were aware of it, Bob, but we had a power outage last week. That's why we weren't able to stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which are our regular stream days. Uh, and some people, we're, we're actually decently lucky. Some, pe some people in our neighborhood still don't have power. So about 50% of the town still doesn't have power. So uh, right now, at least we do have, we do, it, it, did come it did come back for us. So we're pretty, pretty lucky on that side. Hope, you, hope things went well for you, my friend. Uh, o Splash wants to o S wants to get some O some leaf, eh? And how can we arrest him? Who's got a good percentage? Seventy four percent, not the greatest. Mitch, eighty three. That's good enough. Yeah, go. You go to jail. You go to. You want to smoke the weed? Go to jail. O Splash, you caca boy. Yeah, we got a knife here. What's your, uh, what, what do you fight with? You're a gunner, Mischief. Let's give you a decent gun. We have, we have a good here. Good charged rifle. Grab that. Uh, who else needs? O Splash is gonna need his sword when he's out. Let's give him his sword back. Probably have enough uranium to start making, like, uranium swords. I wonder if it's more, it's probably more damage, too. Not just more, uh, you guys are polishing everything. Keep it up, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing all this polished. I've never had like a, a deep polished base. Never had that. So it's going to, I think it's going to look really good. Hopefully people are happy with it. You guys are hard workers. Good job, the polishers. You saw perfect, Bob. I'm happy. I'm happy that it reached you. I know not everybody goes on Discord. Not everybody is familiar, you know, or not sure what people see, what people don't see. So I just wanted to, you know, make, make it, make sure that you, uh, you had the, you had the info. The Nolly and Husky Poppy 42 have a, formed a bond. That's pretty poggers. That's pretty poggers. That's pretty poggers. We're going to be probably... We're going to try to finish this. If we finish this early today, we might switch to Zomboid. Um, there's a lot of stuff I want to do in Zomboid, so... Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely in, in my mind. But I, it felt like we're so close to the end on this playthrough that it feels... I feel like we we, we sort of have to finish it. But my mind is, I, I definitely have a lot of, uh, my, my brain goes, goes towards, uh, <laughs> I want, I want to kill some zombies. And I'm, I'm sure you guys too. I'm sure you guys want to. But, as, you know, as Will, as Rimworld, uh, puts it into perspective, you gotta, if you can get off the planet, you know, you gotta do it at least once. You gotta, you gotta get off that planet if you can. So let's, let's, let's do that. Let's make that happen. Let's make it happen. Make it so. Oh yeah? What was the challenge about? Three, six reinforced barrels. Most of them are damaged. Trying to build this ship engine. We got our ship engine number two that we're trying to build. Are you gonna try to kill all the zombies on the map? No way. 
You're gonna clear every map? That's insane. So they can't respawn and you go one by one and you pur purify all the towns? That, how, how, is it, how is it going so far? That's poggers, man. That's definitely something that, that uh, has my interest. I can definitely see the appeal for a challenge like that. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, you'll have a good time and you'll carry through and you'll you'll enjoy you'll enjoy the road while you get there. You'll enjoy the events and, and the road getting you there. All right, what do we have here? Bum, 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 bum. Uh, we need six advanced components. We have how many right now? We have one. So we need to build another one. We need to build another, a third engine like this. And then we also need to build a sensor cluster, this here. Once we have our th three engines and a sensor cluster, we'll be able to activate the final event. Just started it yesterday. Sounds good, my friend. Which town did you choose as a, as a launching town? You will ever do a different challenge run in Stardew? Uh, not impossible, Dog Dog. It's not on the menu at the moment. Uh, but definitely not impossible. I mean, we've done what the 100% we've done. Um, uh, no, no purchase. Do you have any, any suggestion on what type of challenge you think would be interesting? I, right now, what I, I feel like Stardew, it's hard because I, I sort of know what's efficient in Stardew and it's, it's hard not to, not to have every playthrough feel this, that you're just repeating the same things. So that's that's why that's partially why get all hats, yeah. Get all hats, but then I'd I'd feel like I would be following a guide. I'd have to because I don't know how to get them, most of them. So it would be just a matter of you know. I feel like I would be I go on the Wikipedia, look at how you can get them, and then I would just execute it right. So it's it's more it feels more like uh, following uh, instructions than playing a game. Like you're just you're reading do a b and c to get the reward and then you ex execute a b c and then you go read okay next hat you got to do this that and that and then you just do it right so it feels like it's i i, I that's not the that usually isn't my my cup of tea in the way that i like to play a game i don't like to just follow a guide or follow instructions i like to you know improvise i like to react i like to think of, of, a, of a of a process i like to have like a and and all those things don't really happen when you're just executing in a way so that's so to me i i, I mean i'm definitely interested in his, in the new game and in, in haunted chocolatier um i i i still i'm not a it it, it it i'm still looking for a way to make it fun and interesting for me because right now it's i have it it's 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 hard to make that happen it's hard i i don't i haven't found yet a way to make it fun and interesting when I do, it, it will happen. But I, I have to bend the rules. I have to create like a, like you said, a challenge. It has to be because either base game or um, the way that the game is built right now, I feel like I would just repeat the same things that I've already done. And that to me is is less appealing. Or a poly, we started, we did a polygamy run in a way, right? We, we were like, we, we romanced everybody just to see all the cuts. So we already done that in, in the 100% playthrough. So even that is not, you know, so it's, it's yeah. Thank you. Thank, yeah. Let me know if you come up with anything. Right now, I, I my brain hasn't figured out a way to make it fun and interesting for me yet. Is not replay. Exactly. The replay value of Stardew is even with mods, even like it's for a game to have a high replay value. You need to have, for me, it the, the it needs to have unique encounters and it needs to keep you on your toes. Even an experienced player still needs to find new solutions. If you're just repeating the same solutions you've found in the past, I feel like that's to me is it's not it's not a, it's not as appealing. For me to have a good replay value of a game, I I need the game to every new playthrough needs to feel different from the previous ones. If if it feels like I'm just executing the same things, it sadly doesn't have as much appeal. It was an amazing, I had an amazing time with the game. But long-term replay value for me, I, I, I need to find original ways to play the game to make it valuable. 
I got really good stuff for both. I got bored, stop playing. Every time I, I get bored within a day. When I'm farming at a new game, I downloaded yesterday and I see I have 2 million gold coins. What What is that game mix? Evil, evil is ready to trade off. The game needs to feel like a new playthrough is different than the previous one, which is... It's not exactly that in Stardew. Not exactly that, right? Stardew sort of feels the same way. Every playthrough is sort of the same. It's less sandboxy. Of course you can plant whatever you want, but you can choose to plant different things, but we sort we already sort of did that. We did a challenge where we couldn't buy any any seeds from any vendors. So we had to do mixed seeds and and figure a way around that and and it was it was a tricky way to make money and so we already did like the hard no seed challenge run um so it's so anything any other challenge out of seeds would be easier because we already did sort of the hardest one and so there's we started with the hardest uh crop challenge and so any new challenge on on limiting crops is going to be easier than the one we are we've already completed so yeah it's it's sort of it's sort of that you don't even know what the name of the game you're playing is. that's okay do red fox bum, bum, bum. hero of a3 do you like it what is it about okay let's go here guys what do we have let's try to get so we have that quest that we don't really care about. We're building some advanced components. What's we have two? We need components. Which how much we have twenty? Uh, where are the components? Components forty nine. We got plastic. We got gold. We have gold, right? Don't tell me we don't have gold. Don't tell me that's what's been holding people. No. I'll, 111, which isn't great. So let's mine this. Let's increase our gold. We can mine a little bit of silver at the same time here. Let's mine the gold so that we... Gold is not an issue. And we're lucky. The bear is just sleeping there. We should probably kill him while we're here. After you guys mine this, let's, let's kill the bear and the fox. Okay. You guys have a good gun. What's your gun, Neko? It's a sword. What's your gun, Pink? It's a charged rifle. Maybe you have a third person? Izzel, you want to come help him? Here, go over here, guys. Okay, kill that bear. Oh, oh, oh my god. That was, uh, that was pretty good. The fox... The fox is tougher than the bear. Oh my, do you guys see that? We That bear got... I don't know if you guys critted or something. That was poggers, though. Okay, bring that home. Bring that home. You can't... Uh, whatever. doesn't matter. It's like a medieval-type game. You choose what type of character you want and choose mage and have to reach level 80 in a day. Okay. It's that good? It sounds good, man. I'm happy. If you're having a good time, mix, that's all that matters, right? 80 in one day, either you're a god, either you're a god at the game, or, or the game could use maybe a little bit more, you know. Uh, I don't know what the max level is, but to me, that's high. That's very high. Almost there, Aizel. Almost there, buddy. Oof. How come, though? Abby, a month. Not even two months, Abby? Oh. My life has changed since you've entered it. You guys can read the followage as my life has changed since you guys press that follow button. Show off Abby, eh? It's a mid-tier game, yeah? Okay, what do we have? Let's go. Can we build this, guys? We got all we need. Plenty of gold. You guys brought the gold all in already. You guys hold the gold like, like it's... But you leave the steel... 4,000 steel 
up for haul and you guys just oh my god unfinished marine armor i guess once you guys finish the armor what's gonna happen advanced components marine armor 21 26 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 20. we got 20 23 people why are you trying to do 26 we got 23 people why are you trying to do 26 of these they're expensive man. and we even got a we even got a guy that can't i mean we should probably let him have a gear though 26 we got 23 people oh my god those are expensive stuff I think that the bosses need a little bit more challenge. Yeah. Watch time is buggy. Game is buggy. Life is buggy. Ah, comme la neige a neige. Pump, 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 pump. Woonie and Ping just chilling, mining in the cold. Like, like nothing matters. Of course not. Nobody would ever say that, Dub. Nobody would ever say that or believe that if someone said it. If there's one thing that's not buggy in this world, it's Fall Guys. There's one thing for sure that is never buggy, never has been, never will be. It's Fall Guys. You think... Do you think, Dub... If Fall Guys goes down and there's only one map, <laughs> when, I'm not going to say if, I'm going to say when, when Fall Guys eventually breaks down and there's only one map you can play, are you going to keep playing it? <laughs> when there's only one map left, <laughs> when there's only one map left in Fall Guys, you're going to keep playing it? All day. One map. When there's one map left. Zero out of six. So they only drop it when there's six out of six. It's features, eh? I agree. It's down? You're kidding me, right, Dub? Fall Guy is offline right now? I mean, maybe they're fi they're either fixing stuff or they're they're shutting down more maps. It's one or the other. They're either shutting down more maps or they're fixing stuff right now. Which one it is? Which one is it, though? <laughs> Nobody knows. Either they're fixing stuff, but it, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Fixing a map and shutting down and shutting down is the same thing, right? <laughs> it's the same thing. Okay, what do we have here? It's Speedy Speedy Gonzalez time. Let's go. What do we have here? Battle. Oh man, these guys are fast. The rogues are so fast. Paklao, Berserker. Paklao. Get him. Get him, Berserk boy. Okay, here we go. We're down, down, baby. Come on. Come on, Num. Got Zep, Pone Cake, Johnny, Num, Mischief, Mana Parts, Izzel, Mix, Abby in the battle. Let's go, guys. Slap him. Slap him good. The boss. Oh, Mix with his big artillery sets on the boss. Is that going to be a big damage? Look at that fireball coming in. Paklao. Boss takes the hit like a boss. Oh my god, do we get the loot? Another Pony Tech is trying to get the loot too. You guys got level five artillery, man. You guys are boss. You guys are you guys are poggers. Get him good. Get him down. Pone kick is getting all the kills and the assists, man. That guy's uh He plays MMOs. He's always he's always trying to get loot. He's always trying to get all the kills to get all the loot. You gotta be careful with that guy. There you go. Another good, another good day, another good reward. Open the captain chest. Two shinobis, two monks, two flying rogues. We got Abby, Mix, and Izzel get some. Congrats, guys. Congratulations. Got a quest completed, new map. Let's look at what the best path is. Don't forget, as we got golden chest up here, loyalty chest, and we can even do the blue here. A green chest, extra tokens, though. Green chest is nice, but if you do the green chest, you miss a lot. So let's do gold into silver into blue into boss. That's got to be the best route. Now, to get us to get there, we have a golden chest here. So probably the best route is something like this. 
It seems like that. Let's go. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the dinos, though. Oh, uh, we gotta go fast on those dinos. What level are they? 10. Ah! Ah! Everybody hits. We gotta. You guys gotta get rogues. Get some rogues. Get some rogues, and we gotta. We gotta kick those dinos, Bumbo, man. Those machine gun dinos are cacats. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, Dub. Dungeon keys help. Oh, right. And I did. Do I? Did I get it? I think I got it. Let me. Let me double check. I think I got some. Uh, some of the things. I think I got some of the things that we got for um. Uh, for those for the I think I got some some keys from the uh. There was a few. There was a few things that we could get right. There was a few um. Oof. Is it working though? Do we have enough enough food to try to make some? I, how much? Bear meat. I don't know if that's. It doesn't doesn't seem like it's enough. Hmm. Advanced components. Is that what you're making? Yeah. Cool. That's good. Okay, you guys are poggers. You guys are fin you're finishing the reactor here. That's good. That's really good. There were some drops I think I did. Okay, let's go. Oh, these guys are pumping my power, man. Let's get him off. And let's get him off. Don't you dare pump my power. Boom, 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 bim, bim, boom, bim, boom, bim, boom. No longer inspired. That's okay. That's okay, Mix. Dun, 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 dun. Can we can we train those baby huskies to haul? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Donkey, kill him. Get the meat. Get the meat from the donkey. And I can't wait to play this, to play Rim with mods and, and uh, DLCs. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready for that. I feel ready. Do you think, do you think we're ready, Izzel? Commitment, we're gonna play commitment mode. We're gonna play commitment mode next time. If we die, we die. Commitment mode with DLCs and mods. I think we're ready. <laughs> Izzel is looking at us, he's like, no, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> He's watching this base like, man, if you think you're ready, you're in for a surprise, Mr. Numb. But I like surprises. This over here, steel, silver, steel. I think I got, we got nothing special. Jade, Jade, nobody cares. Silver, nobody cares. Gold, maybe we should. Jade, steel, we got, we got so much of those. We probably need uranium. Uranium is good. Uranium is su if we have a, a nearby uranium mine, we should probably blast steel over there. Uranium is not. I mean, it's acceptably far, is it though? We got this one before we we gotta we gotta grab that one first. Yeah, you're not even sure. Like you're not even sure we're we're gonna get a takeoff here. So, hey, num, start by getting a takeoff on on vanilla, then we'll talk. You know, and you're right. You'd be right to to say that. Ah, they're in the room! Oh, what a caca life! My god. It's an excellent bed! What a bunch of crappy... Crappy boys and girls, man. Hey, oh, Splash, go bait him. Hey, hey, insects, you stinky boys. Over here. Over here, you stinky boys. Oh, go splash. Uh, Neko, over here. Yeah. I 
I guess every time you use drills, it's a drill thing, right? Most splash you can go. That goes well. Is that it? Okay, who else has swords? I want sword people to go to. I mean, or I guess these guys can. Uh, these guys can go destroy it. Uh, nobody has swords anymore. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You guys are good. Okay, go home. Go home. Okay, you guys are good. Go home. Give me all those... I mean, it's, 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 infestations are actually pretty good if you can manage them. Once, once you get, once you get a good understanding of infestation, they're really nice because they give you insect meat for free and then you just make pace with that. It's like, it's cheap. It's, it's good for, it's good for food rations. And they be, it's not very, it, be, it there comes a moment where it's not that risky. Like you don't lose a lot from infest, there comes a time where infestations become sort of like easy-ish to manage. They're not, they're not, they're not high risk. And then from that, and then you get a lot of, look, just look at the jelly here, man. 500 insect jelly, that's poggers. I don't want to put insect jelly in the hopper though. Because that's, that's really good food. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't go in. Perfect. It doesn't go in. It obviously is. Yeah, we got to We got to see if we take off. The Nully. The Nully is, are you even an artist? You're, I mean, you're five. It's not. Not great, not bad. Come say that to me when you have a mountain base and have modded the insects actually be deadly. Yeah. But right now in vanilla, insects are not that bad. They're one of the they're one of the good random events. I actually I actually don't hate it. Cuz I mean it's free it's it's a lot of food for for a low risk, right? It's a lot of food for low risk. So it's like it you know how I often go look at the wildlife and I do some hunting? I do hunting like that. Now insects are they're they're not right now they're in the vanilla game they're not that deadly. They're very I wasn't even in soldier gear. I was in regular gear, right? I w I didn't even go and get changed in soldier armor. Now that's sort of sort of part of the uh that's also part of the adventure because they um uh, we lost an excellent bed, though. That's pretty bad. That's the worst thing that happened to us. They killed an excellent bed, you know? They destroyed our excellent bed. And and two statues. Boo-hoo. <laughs> oh, no, we lost a bed. Insects! I will never forget this. Yeah. Slaughter the... Or insect meat and make kibbles for said meat. Yeah. I mean, we, I could put... I can put the, uh... Insect meat in the, uh, at, for, uh, for paste, so. It's fine. It's really no biggie. It's really no biggie. Okay. Exotic trades. They will hang on the colony, all right. Can you guys, can you get from, uh, we're almost ready to, to build our second ship engine, which is great. We almost finished our marine armor, so that's going to really accelerate. Uh, this is something that takes a lot of time and efforts to build. Once they're maxed out, uh, we're going to be able to focus on making advanced, it's going to accelerate the making advanced components by a lot. So that's really good. Yeah, because once the marine armor is done, I mean, people are just going to be, they're just going to be making advanced components back to back to back. And so we're going to be really, it's going to, it's going to make things very, very, very fast for the rest part. Now, Abby, where are you at? We got, got to send you with all your, all your, your, your charisma and your charm. This guy sells ammo. He sells some advanced components. We could definitely buy those. Buy those guys as well. Don't really care for hyperweave. I wish this was the high quality medicine. We could sell some insect jelly. We got plenty of that. Maybe we should. 
Uh, high explosive stuff, blast steel. What does he have? He has soothe. Maybe that's good. Skill trainer, artsy, social, don't care, liver, bionic arm. We could buy that bionic arm. I think it was... Uh, I feel like this is the same same vendor that visited us. I feel like he's selling the same stuff. Very close to, anyway. Uh, two mega... Yeah, he feels very, very similar. Except this. Except those trades. Basically got a lot of stuff for free since we just we just sell the jelly. I mean, I, I kibble is good, but I, I don't mind eating it through paste. What quality is that? Good bet, sure. I feel like one of the things that I do that I have too big of Izzel is the uh, the size of the beds, right? Like the bedrooms. I feel like my bedrooms are way too big. Would you say? Would you agree with that? I feel like the bedrooms are way too big for... Like, I spend too much... I, I give too much room for bedrooms. I feel like the... I need to learn how to make more efficient uh, sleeping quarters. Or maybe that's normal. Maybe this is what I should be doing. There you go. Texas building our, our second ship engine. There you go. We're going to the moon, guys. It's moon time, baby. Not quite. Not quite. We're going to be able to start placing position for our third one. Let's just wait with which angle. I think we're going to... They go to the right side. We'll just make sure that they all go in the same direction. I just need to see the visuals of this one. And we're going to put everybody... I mean... These things are never being collected. That's that's insane. Maybe you got... I mean, the silver and the limestone block definitely have a spot for them. It's not that these don't have a spot. Like, you you unpack... There's, <laughs> there's a dead cougar on this horse. This horse has been hauling a dead cougar for, like, two months. <laughs> the unpacking... The unpacking from a, a, a quest is so bad. This horse is going to be strong. I'm just loving his strength. There's a dead... There's a corpse on this... There, there's been a, a dead body on this horse for two months. That's a feature of the game. It doesn't rot. It doesn't rot because it's, it's touching the horse. Okay, we could probably reopen... Uh... The fine meal section here. To start using, because we have a lot of insect stuff. You can't... Can you use insect food to make fine meal? If you can, that's poggers. What was in 1.7 day? We'll, we'll be done by then. I can tell him to prioritize, I think. Insect meat? Insect? You can't? Extremely unappetizing. People don't like insect meat. Okay. You don't want to use insect meat for that. Let's make some kibbles then. There you go. Just that? To we'll clear all just insect meat to ki for kibble. Okay, let's do something like that. We got... What happened to the people that are, uh... 